Hello children, welcome to your science class. I hope you all are following the class till now. You know, we are learning chapter 10, motion and measurement of distance of your science NCRT textbook. Let us recall what we have learnt till now. We have seen the introduction of the chapter and we also learned the story of transport where we learned a lot of information about ancient days transportation methods, use of animals for transportation, invention of boat, invention of wheel, invention of steam engine, and their use to the modern transportation and we also learned about the latest and modernized inventions for of transportation so in today's class we'll continue to learn about measuring objects and distances it can be for any objects that are so near to you or the object or the place that can be so far from you. In every class, we question ourselves so that by the end of the class or the lesson, we can find answers for our questions. Few of such questions are, how do you know how far you have traveled? Or how far is it left for you to travel to your destination? And have you tried walking to school from your home? If it's near, yes, you might have walked. But would you be able to walk all the way to school if it's far from your house? And why do we need to take a bus or rickshaw if that, and in, if that is the situation? Even all the people, can they be able to always walk to the market? Think about these questions. So children, do you feel, is it uh, important for us to know how far we are traveling? Yes, it is important. Calculation is very important so that you can know which mode of transport to choose to reach the destination. It can be walking or to take a bus, a train, a ship, a plane and etc. Depends upon the mode of transport you would choose to prefer and the distance of that destination from the place you are traveling. I think you all already know the famous characters Bhujo and Paheli. Let us learn from their experiences. Like Bhujo and Paheli, many of you might have got confused with your friend about sharing the desk equally in your classroom. Yes, let us see one of such experience Bojo and Paheli had. Bhujo and Paheli tried to measure the desk with the help of Gilly and Danda. Gilly Danda is a game which was played in olden days. The Danda is like the wicket and the Gilly resembles the bales in the game of cricket. So they resemble the same. So, they used these, this gilly and danda to measure the desk. After measuring, they found the desk length to be equal to two danda and two gilly lengths. So, they drew a line on the desk as shown in the figure and shared the desk equally where 
each half is measured with one gilli and one danda. After few days, they tried to measure the desk again with a new set of gilli and danda, which was bigger in size compared to the previous one. Now, they again got confused how to measure the de desk into two equal halves. Then, they tried a different object to measure. This time, they tried to measure the desk with a small string. String can be a small thread or a small copper wire, anything. It's like a small string. When they found the width of the desk is longer than the measured string, they folded the string and marked it into half, that is 1 by 2, or 1 fourth, that is 1 by 4, and 1 eighth, that is 1 by 8 of the string lengths. And measured the length of the desk and shared it equally. So first they used the gilly and danda to measure. Now they used the string to measure the desk so that they can equally share it. Children, do you feel even this method gives the accurate measure of the desk length and width? No, no. Yes. For that, we need a proper scale of measurement to measure the length or distances. So, what would you suggest? Yes, of course, for exact length of an object, we can use a ruler for measuring. That is usually found in our geometry box, right? Why a ruler gives us the accurate measurement of length that we will discuss in this chapter soon. For now, let us recall uh, some occasions or occupations where we need to measure the lengths and distances. First, here we have an example is a Tailor. A tailor always need to measure the length of the cloth to design it into any dress like a kurta or a shirt etc. Yes, so uh, for a tailor, tailor it is always important to measure the cloth. So for that measuring the object for him is very important. And the next uh, is a carpenter who needs to measure the wood to make it into a beautiful furniture. For he, Even for him, it is very important to take the measurements of the wood to either make into a cupboard or a sofa, etc. And the widely dependent occupation in India is farming. Even for a farmer, it is required to know his crop area, length and width to sow the seeds. Yes, that means in almost every occupation, we should have the knowledge of measuring objects. Yes, even we, every individual would like to measure our height to know how tall we are. Yes, even for that, we need to know about measurements. We should have the knowledge of measurements. We have many more occasions like these where we have questions regarding measurement. For example, like here we can see how long is your room? How much is its distance or the area covered? How far is Delhi from Lucknow? 
of course we need to know to travel from one place to another and how far away is moon from earth yes the moon is one of the energy source to you yes it helps to maintain you the gravity of earth so these are all interlinked for that we need to know how far away is moon from earth so in today's class the end note is that uh, we learned that it is very important to know the distance between two places to proceed to do any further work it is very important to know the measurement between two points or two places so that is what we would like to understand in today's class that it is very important to know the distance between two points and two places we should know the accurate measurement for that we will do an activity today let's see which activity we are going to do today in today's activity you have to find these objects at your home and try to measure them on your ruler scale and note down their length in centimeters so here are the objects you can see them and you can identify them yes so find them at your house and in your notebook name these objects and straight before them write down their measurement in centimeters okay children that is the activity for today we'll continue this chapter in your next class children thank you